Colours are light of different wavelengths, and light in turn is a form of electromagnetic radiation. Our eyes have three different types of cone cells which are sensitive to the colours red, green and blue. We talked about the nature of colour in another video. Because yellow light is intermediate in wavelength between red and green light, if yellow light reaches the cone cells in our eyes, both the red sensitive and the green sensitive cone cells send electrical signals to the brain. Our brains interpret this combination of electric signals as yellow. All the colours we see in our minds are produced in this way from a mixture of red, green and blue inputs, or in the case of black, an absence of all the colours. But magenta has a different story. Magenta is a mixture of blue and red. If we look at the colour spectrum, between red and blue is green, another primary colour. That means when red and blue light hit our cone cells, you'd expect our brain to interpret the combination as green. But there's no electrical signal coming from the cone cells that are sensitive to green. The brain faces a dilemma and resolves it by creating a new colour, magenta. If our brains didn't invent magenta, we'd miss out on experiencing this beautiful hue and way of interpreting sights in the world. In a way, the creative brain provides some compensation for the fact that we can see through such a narrow window of the electromagnetic spectrum.